In a world where distance once defined limitations, China is now rewriting the rules of speed, silence, and strategy with its next-generation supersonic and hypersonic aircraft. What was once the domain of sci-fi and secret military programs is quickly becoming a tangible reality, potentially transforming commercial travel and global defense in ways previously unimaginable. Introducing the Yongying Superjet In October 2024, Chinese aerospace startup Beijing Lincoln Tianxing Technology, also known as Space Transportation, made headlines by successfully testing a revolutionary new aircraft, the Yongying prototype. This sleek jet, boasting vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, shattered expectations by hitting speeds of Mach 4, approximately 3,690 miles per hour double the velocity of the iconic Concorde. But speed is not even its most jaw-dropping feature. The Yongying was engineered to suppress the thunderous sonic boom typically produced when breaking the sound barrier. Through advanced acoustic dampening and aerodynamic finesse, this aircraft may be the quietest supersonic jet ever conceived, stealthy enough to fly over cities without rattling windows or nerves. A modern Concorde, the better in every way. The British-French Concorde, retired in 2003, once symbolized the pinnacle of fast air travel. But despite its ability to cross the Atlantic in under four hours, it suffered from major setbacks. Enormous fuel costs, deafening noise, and strict limitations on overland routes due to its booming sonic signature. The Yongying, by contrast, is the futuristic response to those flaws. It flies more than twice as fast, operates more efficiently, and is built to be environmentally and commercially sustainable. Notably, it cruises at 65,600 feet, well above traditional airliners, offering a smoother ride by escaping the turbulence-laden troposphere and reducing air traffic congestion, powering the future with controlled explosions. The beating heart of the Yongying is the Jindu 400, a cutting-edge detonation ramjet engine. Unlike conventional jet engines which operate through continuous combustion, this marvel of propulsion relies on pulse detonation, a process where fuel is burned in rapid, controlled bursts, creating shockwaves that produce immense thrust. This combustion method is not only more fuel-efficient at supersonic speeds, but also ideal for high-altitude travel, where oxygen is scarce. The Jindu 400 allows the Yongying to maintain high performance while consuming significantly less fuel, a vital factor in the push toward affordable supersonic passenger travel. A heat-resistant marvel, traveling at Mach 4 generates intense friction and heat, and for most aircraft, this would spell disaster. To survive such extremes, the Yongying is constructed with advanced carbon composites and heat-resistant alloys capable of withstanding thousands of degrees Fahrenheit without compromising structural integrity. These lightweight materials not only improve speed and maneuverability, but also ensure durability across repeated flights, marking a leap forward in high-speed aviation engineering, a jet without runways. Adding to its versatility, the Yongying supports vertical takeoff and landing. That means no need for lengthy runways or expansive airports. This plane can launch from compact platforms, making it a viable option for both urban mobility and remote locations. This feature could fundamentally alter where and how jets operate in the future. How China tackled the sonic boom One of the primary reasons supersonic commercial travel failed in the past was noise pollution. The Concorde's thunderous sonic boom made overland flights impractical, often forcing it to stick to transoceanic routes. China's engineers approached this issue head-on, developing noise suppression technology to minimize if not eliminate the disruptive shockwaves generated at supersonic speed. If the Yongying's sonic silencer proves effective, the aircraft could gain approval for routes over land, offering ultra-fast travel between global megacities without the restrictions that doomed its predecessors. U.S. projects racing against time While China leads the charge with the Yongying, other players are racing to catch up. Boom Supersonic, a Colorado-based company, is developing the Overture a commercial jet targeting Mach 2.2 with plans for transatlantic flights by 2029. Meanwhile, NASA and Lockheed Martin have joined forces to create the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Transport, nicknamed the Son of Concord. The X-59 is a sleek aircraft engineered to drastically reduce sonic boom noise using shockwave shaping, a technique that spreads and dissipates shockwaves before they merge into a loud boom. If successful, the X-59 could be a crucial step toward lifting bans on supersonic flights over populated areas. Yet, with the Yongying already tested at higher speeds and potentially approaching commercial readiness, the U.S. projects might be playing catch-up. Mach 16 is no longer fiction. While the Yongying stuns with Mach 4 capabilities, 
China's ambitions reach even further. Enter the Oblique Divination Engine, a hypersonic propulsion breakthrough that recently reached operational speeds of Mach 16 to 12,000. 276 miles per hour during tests at Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel. This experimental engine, developed by researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, uses oblique shock waves to initiate and sustain combustion, dramatically faster than the scramjets used in current hypersonic systems. The result? A power plant that's compact, ultra-efficient, and potentially capable of traveling from Beijing to New York in under an hour. Turning shockwaves into thrust. Instead of struggling against shockwaves like scramjets do, the oblique detonation engine uses them as fuel. Scientists placed a tiny bump just 5 mm tall within the engine's combustor to trigger self-sustaining shockwave explosions. This dramatically improved efficiency while keeping the engine lightweight and compact 85% smaller than traditional alternatives. The engine runs on RP3 aviation kerosene, a fuel already widely available, giving it a huge practical advantage. It also features wing-shaped struts to spread fuel more evenly, and reduce the risk of combustion failure at ultra-high speeds. To overcome ignition delays, researchers preheated the fuel to a blazing 6,380 degrees Fahrenheit, enabling almost instant ignition, a crucial requirement for sustainable hypersonic propulsion, civilian and military implications. China's hypersonic ambitions aren't limited to civilian use. Hypersonic aircraft could redefine military power. With speeds too fast for today's radar systems to track or intercept, such jets could serve as unstoppable reconnaissance platforms, strike vehicles, or missile delivery systems. If successfully deployed, the oblique detonation engine could usher in a generation of hypersonic drones, warheads, or space access vehicles, making traditional defense systems obsolete. Meanwhile, in the US, Lockheed Martin's SR-72, the son of Blackbird, is under development to match or surpass Mach 6 speeds. But with Yongying already flight-tested and China's OD achieving operational benchmarks, the East may be moving faster than the West, overcoming the remaining challenges. Despite remarkable advancements, both the Yongying and other hypersonic aircraft still face significant challenges. At speeds nearing Mach 16, extreme air friction raises surface temperatures above 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, demanding the development of advanced heat-resistant materials like carbon-carbon composites and active cooling systems. Stability and control also become critical issues, as traditional aerodynamic surfaces lose effectiveness. Researchers are now exploring AI-driven adaptive control systems plasma actuators, and real-time dynamic modeling to maintain flight stability. Additionally, the high fuel consumption of hypersonic engines limits range, prompting investigations into hybrid propulsion systems that combine oblique detonation engines with rockets or turbojets to enhance efficiency and endurance, a future defined by speed. Space Transportation hopes to commercialize the Yongying by 2027, bringing Mach 4 travel into the mainstream. Combined with hypersonic research, China is clearly eyeing a future where flights across continents take minutes, not hours. What was once reserved for Cold War legends like the SR-71 may soon become a reality for business travelers, tourists, and cargo operators. Whether it's for delivering humanitarian aid, launching a military response, or just shaving hours off your commute, the possibilities are staggering, a race beyond the speed of sound. China's bold advances in high-speed aviation aren't just technological marvels, their geopolitical statements. In developing aircraft like the Yongying and the Oblique Detonation Engine, China is signaling its readiness to challenge Western aerospace dominance and define the future of flight. The global race is now on, America's X-59 and the SR-72, Europe's eco-friendly flight initiatives, and China's rapid-fire innovations are all hurtling toward a new era of quiet, clean, and unbelievably fast air travel. One thing is certain buckle up. The future of aviation is about to break the sound barrier silently. Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive into China's supersonic and hypersonic breakthroughs as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like and make sure to subscribe. Until next time, fly fast and stay curious.